and it is certainly the big story of the day. The Rangers win last night against the Devils, uh, and they win the President's Trophy. They have two games remaining. No one could catch them. They have the best record in the NHL. And we said, what a great day to get on the head coach of the New York Rangers, Elaine Vigneault, and he's nice enough to join us now. Elaine, congratulations. It's Michael and Ryan. How you doing? Thanks. How are you guys doing? So what does it mean? I know it's, it's, it's a great thing to have the best record. You have home ice for the entire playoffs. But does it mean anything to you and your team? Well, I think our guys can be real proud of you know what uh, we've accomplished so so far. I think everybody understands it's just the first step, but you know if you realize that when the season started, most of the uh, hockey community had us fighting for a playoff spot, considering all the elements that we had lost from last year. Uh, but uh, you know through some uh, the help of some good young players and some improvement from our guys that were returning, uh, we've were been able to have a you know when you think about it, a pretty good season so far. So uh, it's just the first step. It's a, uh, it's a chance to get into the playoffs, to uh, compete for the Stanley Cup. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you think about it, we're, or at least we're going to have home ice and playing in front of our great fans is always a wonderful thing. Coach, what is the, the thing you feel best about your team this season as an improvement from last year? Well, this is a different team than last year. I mean, we've got, uh, you know, some youth that, that's been added, some young players like, you know, Kevin Hayes, JT Miller, Cam Talbot that stepped in, uh, Jesper Fast, et cetera, all young guys that uh, went through uh, basically, except for Kevin Hayes, uh, Hartford, where they got some real strong coaching there and, you know, came on board this year and were able to, to come together as a team to, uh, you know, find roles that would suit uh, not just those younger players but you know returning players uh, some guys have had you know an expanded role uh, more minutes and uh, basically guys have responded you know when you think about uh, uh, the adversity we had at the start of the season with the injuries we had especially to our back end and then uh, obviously our, our goaltender uh, Henrik Lundqvist going down and still our guys found ways to win games and that that's what this is all about and because we found ways we were able to, to get into the playoffs and have a chance to uh, play for the Stanley Cup. Rangers head coach Elaine Vigneault joins us here on the Michael K show. I've been around teams coach that get to the World Series or get to the NBA Finals and they lose and I always look at them the next year and it seems like the season seems like an ordeal. They just want to get back to the playoffs to get back to that point and complete the journey. How did you guard against that complacency where they would just flatten the regular season? How did you crack the whip? Because you've done it in your previous stop as well. Why yeah. do they respond for you in a, t in a situation like that? It, was, it wasn't It was about cracking the whip. It was more about uh, I would say the maturity of our group understanding that you know, if our intentions are to play hockey in June, then the best way is to play good hockey all the way through and play good hockey, permitting you to to get into the playoffs. Like you just look at the teams right now that are that are fighting to get in. The, the first of all, the Stanley Cup champions from last year are fighting to get into the playoffs. You get a team like Pittsburgh with Crosby and Malkin that are fighting to get in. It's not an easy thing to make the Stanley uh, to make the the playoffs to get in to have an opportunity to battle for the Stanley Cup. But our guys were able to th through their maturity through their preparation, through their understanding that best chance we have of playing hockey is June and is playing good hockey all the way through. And, and that's what our guys did. Their preparation, their commitment to one another uh, was, you know, uh, I think, you know, remarkable, the, their accountability, and that's why we put ourselves in this position. But you feel like Henrik is there, that, that he's all the way back? Yeah. 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 yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, you know, the, compared to, uh, you know, a start of a regular season, with the injury that he sustained, he was still able to, after a week, to continue to work out, uh, continue to skate on the ice. And that's why I would say, other than, uh, you know, the Boston first period where, you know, obviously he was looking for his trigger points and, the, you know, his bearings on the ice, other than that period, he's played extremely well. Not to say that he didn't play well in, in that first period against Boston. We didn't give him a, a lot of help in that game. But he's played well. He, you can sense that he's getting more confidence by you know every minute that he's playing, and that's why he's going to play the next two games also. 
I thought, Coach, that it was poetic justice that Cam Talbot was in goal yesterday. I don't think that's the way you planned it, but did you like it that he's meant so much to this team that he was able to be there and and, and get the win for his team in, in the day that they they clinched the President's Trophy? Yeah, the, that's a, a great point. I mean, you know, Cam coming in, uh, the pressure of all of a sudden being thrown and being the go-to guy, understanding that it's not just going to be, you know, one or two games and the big guy sitting at the end of the bench, but that the big guy's hurt and he's going to have to be there for, you know, anywhere from uh, four to eight weeks and it turned out to be eight and he did a remarkable job uh the composure that uh, he put forward and the, uh, you know the performances that he put forward gave our whole team a lot of confidence and you know he set out to prove that he was a good goaltender in the nhl and that's certainly what he did and he helped us win a lot of games and that's and what it, you want from your goaltender you know it's interesting too coach if everything goes according to plan he's not going to play again the rest of the year uh, Accurate? <laughs> well, yeah, but there, you know, there's no doubt that Hank's our, our number one guy, and that's right. the guy we're, we're going to move forward with. Uh, but, you know, I think for everybody, it's it's good to know that we've got two guys that can play, two guys that can play under pressure situations and can perform, and we're very lucky to have that. Coach, you this year, obviously, when, when you go to the to the Cup Finals, and you lose, and then you have the regular season that you've had this year. We all know that, you know, at least for the fan base, it's going to be, hey, cup or nothing going into this playoff period, right? How how do you manage the expectations or deal with them so that they don't weigh down your team at all during this postseason run? Oh, well, that's a good question, and uh, and we understand that, you know, we're going to be judged by what we do in the, in the playoffs. So there's no doubt there. But we also, I believe, have taken the right approach, and that's by having a good regular season, by making sure that, you know, we pay attention to detail and that our practices are good. But I don't think that our approach is going to change that dramatically in the sense that, you know, during the season, it's one game at a time. In the playoffs, it's going to be the same thing, but a race to win four games before opposition. Uh, we start with our first opponent in, in, the, in the playoffs, and whoever that's going to be, it's going to be an, an unreal challenge. I mean, uh, you know, pick your poison in the playoffs. All 16 teams that are getting in, all in my mind, have a legitimate chance to win the Stanley Cup. That's how close it is now. That's how competitive the league is. And it's great for the fans. I think it's great for the players and coaches. It's, you know, competition at its best, and that's why we're in this game. We're talking to Elaine Vigneault, the head coach of the New York Rangers. His team clinched the President's Trophy last night, which means home ice advantage throughout the playoffs. And it's interesting, though, Elaine, this team has proved its worth on the road. I mean, you've won more games on the road than at home. You have 52 wins overall, 27 on the road. And if you want to win a championship, you've got to be able to play on the road. So that has to make you feel great. It does, and you know one thing about the New York Rangers fans, they are everywhere. Like I am amazed. Like when we go on the road, the number of New York, uh, Jer- uh, New York Rangers jersey that we see, the the support that we have from the fans in all the rinks that we go, it's amazing. I mean, there is a, uh, I don't know if it's a, a cult thing about the Rangers or something, <laughs> but it is amazing the support that we get on the road, and that, pro- that probably has a, a reason why. Our record is so good because we go into any building and, you know, at some point during that game, you're going to hear, uh, let's go Rangers. And it's uh, an amazing fan base that's behind their team. And uh, I want to let them know that I know they want to win, and there's no doubt that this group wants to win badly. Not only do you hear let's go Rangers, but you hear something about pot van, too, even on the road. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear that everywhere. It's, a, it's an amazing fan base. And, you know, I, I, I get there passion and we understand that they want to win and we're going to do everything that we can to make them make it happen.